Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload Instagram Reels to Google Business Profile automatically. So I am running a digital marketing agency and to promote my business, I am regularly uploading new Reels on my Instagram account. Now in order to engage wider audience and to attract more customers, I want to automatically share all these Reels on Google Business Profile as well. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Instagram and Google Business Profile and that we are going to do without the requirement of any coding and programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. In this video, we are going to learn step by step that how we can automatically share our Instagram reels and videos on Google business profile. So let's suppose I run a digital marketing agency that frequently posts engaging reels on Instagram, showcasing the client testimonials behind the scene footage and promotional content which we have performed. Okay. So I want to share these reels on my Google business profile as well and, and manually uploading these videos one by one on Google business profile is, is definitely a time consuming process. Therefore, I want to automate this entire process that will ensure that every new video posted on my Instagram is also shared on my Google business profile which will help me to reach a wider audience and enhancing the business visibility as well. So as you know Google business profile is an amazing free tool provided by Google that helps businesses and organizations to manage their online presence across Google with the help of maps, search engines etc. So here the customer can search your business online on Google and with this we can increase our visibility all over the world we can interact to our customers we can track the analytics of our business and also we can collect the reviews from the customers related to our business and services okay so therefore i want to share all my instagram reels over here inside google business profile as well now in order to automate this process we will have to set up a connection between our instagram account and google business profile and without any coding and programming skills we are going to set up this connection how we are going to do that with the help of pabli connect which is an amazing automation and integration software so here this is the home page of pabli connect where we can reach by tapping the url pabli.com slash connect in our browser after coming over here, we will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. In case if you are already an existing user like me, you can directly click on sign in option. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will do that, you will receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, currently I'm going to click on sign in option because I'm already an existing user. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect where we can find all of our workflows which we have created up till now. And we can also create different folders over here in the similar manner to save our workflow separately and accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Here a dialog box is appear in front of us which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Upload Instagram Reels and Videos to Google Business Profile automatically. After giving the name to my workflow, here I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this particular workflow. You can see I have a list of folders over here. So I'm going to select the Social Media Automations folder and I'm going to click on Create. So my workflow will be saved in the folder which I have selected. As we have done that, you can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now let's suppose here my objective is that as soon as for my digital marketing agency, I'm going to upload a new reel or new video on my Instagram account. That same reel should be posted on my Google business profile as well. So I'm going to take Instagram in my trigger and Google business profile in my action. Let's say when we are going to set up the connection between these two applications, we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the reel is uploaded on Instagram, then only it will be shared as a post on Google business profile. Otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let us quickly start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, to start this automation workflow, we have to select our trigger application. For that, we have to go towards our trigger step. And here in the application, we are going to select Instagram for business. As I've already logged into my Instagram account, we will quickly set up the connection between Instagram and Pabli Connect. So let's select Instagram for business. Then we have to select the trigger event. So here I'm going to select new media posts in my account. 
as we have done that now we have to set up the connection so let's click on connect button and for building the connection we have two options over here add new connection or select existing connection in case if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that but to create a new connection first of all you need to log into your instagram for business account and then you have to click on add new connection when we'll do that here we have the option of connect with instagram for business let's select that now we have to select our account and over here we can see that our connection and our authorization has become successful this means that now when we have set up the connection as soon as we are going to post something on instagram the response will be captured but for that we have to select our account which is already selected over here then we have you can see it is given that instagram for business is based on 10 minutes of polling time polling time is actually the time which family connect is going to take in order to capture the new response in order to check for the new data so when we are going to upload a new reel a new image or anything over here inside instagram then after 10 minutes it will be captured inside pably connect okay therefore it is given that 10 minutes is the polling time of instagram for business so now when we are going to click on save and send test request button we are going to receive the response of the latest video or the last reel which was uploaded inside instagram so in order to capture the response of a new reel or new video what we have to do first of all we have to upload a new reel over here inside our account then we have to click on this button save and send test request button further when we will set up the connection successfully when the workflow is going to run in real time as soon as you are going to upload something on your instagram account after 10 minutes it will be automatically captured inside pably connect okay So now I'm going to take you to my account and here I'm going to click on create button and I'm going to post a new reel over here. So I'm going to post this new reel over here with a new caption. So here I have entered the caption harness the power of video to boost your brand and I will simply click on share to share this reel on my Instagram account. And here we can see that our reel is being shared. So let's cross this. We'll refresh this account once. and here we can see that my reel is uploaded recently as the reel is uploaded now we'll go back towards pably connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request button and we can see that here we have received the response in this response here we have the id of the reel that means id of the post here we have the user name we have the media type which is being shared that is video as we have shared a reel and here we have the media url as well perma link and all other details the date and time at which the reel is shared here we have also received the caption which we have entered so this means that our connection between instagram and pably connect is absolutely successful now we have to upload this reel which we have received from instagram on google business profile but before that before moving towards the next step of our automation here we have to apply a very important condition because we are going to post multiple things on our instagram account it could be any random media which contains videos as well as images okay but here i only want to run this workflow in the case of videos in the case of reels so i do not want to continue the workflow for each and every media type which i am posting on my instagram account i only want that whenever i'm going to upload a new reel then i want to continue the workflow and i want to upload that reel on google business profile i do not want to run this workflow for the images as well so in that case when the media type will be equal to video then only we have to run the workflow for the otherwise we have to stop it over here so how we are going to apply that condition with the help of filter so we have to go towards our action step we have to select our action application as filter filter is an amazing feature which helps us to set the conditions in the workflow according to our requirements here we have the action event as filter values let's simply click on connect and we have to select a label a filter type and the value over here so in the label we will simply use our previous response which we have already received and we will select the media type over here when we have inserted this label from our previous response it has become dynamic that means with each and every new response it is going to replace automatically so whenever a new response will be captured from instagram whenever a new media will be uploaded over there and the response will be capture then automatically this label the media type is going to replace with a new response okay and in this way we are going to set the condition so the filter type will be equal to and here i'm going to enter the value so i'm going to enter value as video over here i want that whenever the label will be equal to the value then only the workflow should continue so whenever the media type in the response will be equal to video then the workflow will continue otherwise it is going to stop over here and if the workflow is going to continue then only it is going to upload the video on google business profile as we have selected that let's move forward and one more thing i have to tell you that here we have entered the label with the help of mapping okay so when we map a data like this by using our previous step it becomes dynamic and it automatically get changed then so here because we have mapped the label it is going to replace automatically but the data which we have entered manually by typing has become static and now it is not going to replace so whenever the label will not be equal to value the workflow is going to stop now when we are going to click on save and send test request button let's check whether the condition is true or not and 
and here our condition is absolutely true so when the condition is true that means we can further continue the workflow so now what we have to do in case when the condition will be true we want to upload the reel which we have received from instagram to google business profile so we have to set up the connection between google business profile and pably connect so here we are going to set up the connection between this account and pably connect now quickly for that let's click on this add action step button and here our action application will be google business profile so you can see we have multiple action events over here create a reply fetch review fetch review from multiple locations create call to action post and much more and our objective over here is to upload a media inside google business profile what media video okay so here so here our action event will be upload media video so here we only want to upload a video therefore we have selected that now when we are going to click on connect we have to build the connection if you have already built a connection with your google business provide earlier and you have an existing connection you can also go with that but to create a new connection you have to log into your account then you have to go towards add new connection you will click on sign in with google you will simply select our account and we have to click on continue over here so we have given the permission to public connect to access our google business profile account and it is 100% safe so you do not have to worry now when we have done that we can see that google business profile is successfully connected with public connect so we have to simply enter the details over here first of all we need to select our account so we have already selected the account over here then we have to select the location so i'm selecting my location that means the name of my business then here we have the source url the url which you want to share as the post as a video so we want to share the video the reel which we have received from instagram so we will simply use the same url over here what we will do we will select our previous step like this and here we have the media url which we want to share this is the url of the reel so we will simply select that and it is mapped as i told you that when we map a data like this from a previous step it becomes dynamic and with each and every new response it automatically gets replaced so when we have mapped this url it is going to change automatically with each and every new response okay so whenever a new media will be uploaded whenever a new reel will be shared over here in instagram the response will be captured and and with that new response the url is going to replace in this field and then we have to select association category so let's suppose i'm going to select interior over here and i will simply click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response in this response here we have the account name here we have the source url which we have shared we have the media format that we have shared that is video and here we can see that this is the date and time at which the post is created so let's go and check whether on our google business profile account the same reel is shared or not over here we can see that the reel is automatically shared currently it is pending but after 5 to 10 minutes it will be posted automatically okay so here we can see that the reel is shared that means our connection is absolutely successful so now whenever a new reel will be shared on our instagram account the same reel will be shared on google business profile as well and that too automatically so once we have set up this connection we are going to run this workflow once again and we are going to test it whether it is running fine or not so whenever we are going to post a reel after 10 minutes it will be uploaded on google business profile so what we will do here i am going to take you back towards my instagram account and i am going to go towards create option once again and i am going to upload a new reel on my account so here i am going to post this reel over here i'm going to enter the caption proven tactics to create shareable content that goes viral here i have given a catchy caption to my reel and here we have the tags as well and i'm going to click on share to share this reel to upload it and here as the reel is shared let's wait for 10 minutes after 10 minutes automatically the reel will be uploaded on google business profile as well so we are going to wait for 10 minutes and over here you can see that automatically the reel is shared as a post as a video on my google business profile account and the previous reel which we have shared is also uploaded over here as you can see this means that our connection is absolutely successful and it is also running fine so we'll quickly summarize what we have done in this workflow actually we have taken very simple steps trigger an action in trigger we have taken instagram for business and in action we have taken filter and google business profile and we have set up the connection between these two applications in such a way that whenever a new reel will be uploaded on our instagram account now automatically it will be shared on google business profile as well so by following these steps you can automate the process of uploading your instagram reels or your videos to your google business profile and ensuring consistency in your content sharing process across the platforms this automation enhances your business online presence saves time and keeps your audience engaged with the latest updates so i hope this video was helpful for you and it is clear to you thank you for watching
Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.